Hello everybody and hi from beautiful Dubai. Well, okay, I am not quite in Dubai yet, but I'm right next door to Dubai in the Emirate of Sharjah. So why am I here? Well, there is a big Sharjah International Book Fair that's happening and they have invited me to come and do some cooking demos out of my cookbook. How exciting is that, right? So we're staying at this beautiful hotel with our very own private white sandy beach. So I want to do some vlogging. So bring Bring you along with me so I can share some of these very exciting experiences. We will be eating in Dubai as well later on in this trip, so this is gonna be fun. Before I had to actually uh, go to work, I got to enjoy some Middle Eastern sun and sand. The ocean, on the other hand, was kind of murky looking, so we decided to stick with the chlorinated swimming pool. I wanted to show you this. Check out this coconut. First of all, I have never seen a coconut that is orange before and the way they cut it and put little wings, that is just so cute. And the interesting part about this is that there's no coconut meat inside. Like I can take my straw and scrape it around and nothing, no meat. It's still just as refreshing, a little bit of tartness. It does taste like the Thai coconut water, but it's slightly different. I can't really put my finger on how it's different, isn't that cool? So I ran into a bunch of masseuse working at the hotel and guess what guys? They oh. are viewers of Hot Thai Kitchen. Yeah. So they are subscribers yes. and so I expect very good massage during oh, my yes. stay here. Yes. <laughs> so I am having my first lunch at the hotel and there is a restaurant at the hotel that just has buffet breakfast, lunch and dinner that we can go to like all day every day which is amazing and they it's a pretty international food but they do have a heavy Middle Eastern focus on their food which I love so let me show you what I have got today for lunch I've got an array of Middle Eastern dip this one is something I've never had it's Muhamra which is a red pepper dip with walnuts there's the smoothest hummus I have ever seen some baba ganoush which also looks way creamier than the baba ganoush I make some fatouche salad with some crispy bread and beet salad, which I'm really looking forward to. So this is yogurt with olive oil and za'atar mixed into it. So I'm really intrigued. So I'm really excited about this, this red pepper dip. I'm supposed to have a, a bread of some sort to dip it in, but I'm just gonna have it straight up for now. That is really good. Oh, it's so intense. So well seasoned. Everything here is super well seasoned, a little spicy, a little tart. Wow, that is delicious. I want that on everything. Time to go to the book fair. On our way there, I was really struck by the city's unique architecture. Sharjah was named the Islamic culture capital in 2014, and it's got hundreds of beautiful mosques, which you can see just about everywhere you go. So the Sharjah International Book Fair, like many things in this part of the world, was shockingly massive. I have never seen a book fair of this scale. And since I got some time before my demo, let's go see what they've got to offer. Check this out. Not just a cupcake cookbook, a cupcake-shaped cupcake cookbook, which also comes with the accompanying salad cookbook shaped like a lettuce. <laughs> So we are at this really cool section where it's sort of like a museum of ancient books. I mean, we've got books here from the 1500s and the one behind me is the very first edition of the most famous book on anat human anatomy and it is selling for 950,000 euros. But I'm thinking 2,000 years from now, there's gonna be one of these museums with the book Hot Thai Kitchen on it. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be like, remember when books were made of paper? All right, time to get to work here. The support team was incredible and made it so fun and smooth. I even had an Arabic translator. I also got to meet several fans who came out to see me. It was truly a memorable experience, so thank you to everyone involved. So we are on day two in Sharjah. So I have another cooking demo this evening, but during the day, the book fair people have organized tours around the city for us. So we are first stopping at the Noor Mosque, which 
is apparently the most famous one in Sharjah, has over 600 mosques according to my little cliff note here. So I'm very excited to see. Apparently the architecture is going to be beautiful. So we are about to enter the mosque and we have to first put on these robes, which I'm very excited about. Ready to go. The mosque was absolutely breathtaking as you can see here. But my favorite part was how educational this actually was. We got a quick but fascinating Islam 101 from our lovely guide. One of the men got to try a traditional Arab headdress, which he was very excited about. And I got to try on a burqa, which is a type of face covering for women that's no longer commonly worn today. And as for our refreshment, it was literally a food moment I will never forget. So we've got some coffee, Arabic coffee and dates as refreshment. And I've just got a tiny little bit here. It's a very light color, but it's also a little bit opaque. Like it's not clear like the Western style coffee. It smells so good and so aromatic. I had to ask her whether there was any spices in it because it almost smells like cardamom. But she said, no. Oh, there is cardamom. So there are spices in it, okay. Ginger also. Ginger and cardamom. Oh, oh it's so good. Drink with it. And we've got some dates here. Oh my god. This, this is the softest, most luscious, juicy dates I've ever had. Mm. This is the perfect combination because this is so sweet but it's not too sweet and it hits sort of with the warmth from the coffee it just kind of melts the remaining date that's in your mouth and washes it down. This is amazing. Exactly. <laughs> That was an absolutely incredible experience. When you walk into the mosque, you feel this sense of calm and peace. And the mosque is so big, so you feel super small. We're getting back on the bus now to go to our next destination. So I am now at the souk, the central souk, which is basically a market, but it's mostly jewelry on one side and clothing on the other. But when I say jewelry, I'm talking about gold like so much gold, like gold curtains that you're supposed to drape over your chest. It's so absolutely impressive. It's really interesting. I just heard the prayer that was sort of blasted out in their PA system and they pray five times a day. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you can stop and pray. That's so cool, hey? And that was just the beginning. In the next video, I'm going hunting for dates now that the mosque got me all hooked on them. And I'll visit a meat and fish market unlike any I have ever seen. Of course, Dubai is coming up too. As always, check out the description box below for all the links you need. And I'll see you next time. Bye!